so today's knife is is kind of a mysterious one it there is very little information that is available or at least that i could find i mean even as of this recording right now there are no other youtube videos for it Hey, I'm Jay, and if you're looking to buy a knife and you need to see what it's like first before you drop your hard-earned money on it, here's what you got to do. Click on subscribe so I can help you, and remember to click that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. All of the specs that you are currently looking at, I personally had measured myself. So for those of you interested, good spot to pause and read. This is the Kershaw Flock 1330. And as usual, we'll get into what I like about this, some of the potential deal breakers that I see. First, let's do the size comparisons, shall we? And we'll start with the Spyderco up against the native five and ah what the heck how about another spider co the discontinued domino and ooh, here's a beefy little guy the uh kaiser vanguard mini sheepdog and how about this one the lion steel sr2 and let's do one more how about the Benchmade Mini Freak? My favorite feature of the 1330 Flock has to be that gorgeous blade, which is 8CR 13 MOV steel. And you're looking at a 2.8 inches hollow ground uh, drop point with a very nice black DLC finish. The thickness comes in at 2.8 millimeters, and I absolutely love this wide 1.17 inch blade profile. I mean, just look at that. So this is gonna be a wider blade that is a fantastic slicer. The sharpening choil is very well executed. You guys can see that there on the flock. Now, this blade is, it is riding on, unfortunately, Teflon washers, but that might not be a huge deal just because this is speed safe deployment. Yep, just with that flipper tab there. And I gotta say the assisted action, oh yeah, it is really, really nice and quick. Now, I believe, let's check the centering. And, well, it's not perfect, that's for sure. But it, it's, it's not bad, and it's definitely not uh, rubbing on the liners. And if we take a look at that lockup, uh, what do you guys think, about 15, 15%? The, the handle features, uh, they are, GFN scales, so the glass filled uh, nylon. And I mean, is it my favorite? No, but you know what? It doesn't really hurt my feelings too much, especially because of how comfortable this handle really is. And I mean, there are absolutely no sharp edges anywhere. And uh, the traction is pretty decent from the, the GFN texture and if you guys can see there that uh, it's got like that raised kind of design pattern thing going on there now i wear medium sized gloves and you can see i can fit all four of my fingers on this four inch handle you can completely disassemble this knife without having to remove the pocket clip that is always nice and as long as we're we're talking about the clip check this out i really really like that it is deep carry now it is going to be just the tip up only 
But that's for righties. And look at that, lefties rejoice. Thank you, Kershaw. I also like, if we take a closer look, if you can see the, the word Kershaw on the clip, it's actually engraved on there as opposed to being painted on. Very, very surprised to see that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the scale so we can see how much this is gonna weigh you down. Now, before I go ahead and toss this on the scale, there's two things that I just wanted to show you. Uh, first, if you look at the spine here of the handle, you can see it's really nice to see this kind of like open pillar construction, especially since it seems like, you know, most Kershaws have that, uh, well, that, that, that big backspacer. So I like to see it kind of open. And if you take a look on the inside here, yeah, it looks like uh, the liners have not at all been skeletonized. So let's see how that is going to affect the weight. Okay. Not bad, 3.8 ounces, which is going to be roughly uh, one, two, three, four, five. It looks like about, let me get that closer, five AA batteries, or I believe almost the exact same weight as the Lion Steel SR2. Now, as usual, we, we do have to talk about some of the potential deal breakers. Before we do, I just want to quickly remind you to go ahead and click on that subscribe button if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. Potential deal breaker number one, which I feel is probably going to be uh, a, a common one, and it's going to be regarding the HCR13 MOV blade steel, um, which to be honest, is not bad for the price, which we will talk about here in just a second. And potential deal breaker number two being the, the speed safe deployment. Now, I don't mind the assisted deployment, but I know some of you prefer manual and that's, that's okay. The, the handle thickness. Now, at the widest point, which is here down towards at the middle. I measured it with my calipers at 0 0.60 inches. Yeah, that's that's like approaching like kind of like griptilian thickness. Now, in all fairness, it does taper, you know, the closer you get to the pivot down to 0 0.54, which isn't too bad at all. Did you notice that there happens to be absolutely no jimping anywhere on this knife? Not even on the places where I would expect it, being the flipper tab and in here in the liner lock. And the last potential deal breaker, yeah, being those Teflon washers. And I again, I can understand that as well. So then where does that, uh, where does that leave us? with the 1330 flock. Well, I have to say at 25 bucks, which is what you will find this for, I'm not 100% in love with 8CR13 MOV. Again, it's fine, but I've seen $25 knives, I mean, we all have, with bronze washers instead of Teflon, even ball bearing pivot. So I, I just feel like Kershaw could have done just a little bit better. Now, I really like the overall design of this, but I just wish that there was more information out there. But that's where you guys come in. Now, so if any of you are familiar with this knife or you have found some information, please sound off down in the comment section below. And even if you have a link to that information you found, it would be much, much appreciated. But let me tell you what I have found. Now, I've seen this on House of Blades website. Now in the specs, they have this listed as being uh, 14C28N blade steel and aluminum scales. Now, it's not in stock on House of Blades, but I will go ahead and just include the link so you guys can see. Blade HQ, I believe, 
has the the correct specs because they have it listed with the 8CR13 MOV steel and of course with uh, the GFN handles, which would make sense because usually Kershaw's, their USA models will either, you know, feature the Sandvik steel or even the, uh, the 420 HC and China is where the Chinese knives is where you'll find the, uh, HCR Kershaw's. Now, Blade HQ even goes as far as claiming that the 1330 flock has been discontinued. And again, no reviews on YouTube yet. I even went and I watched so many SHOT Show videos from so many different channels over the past couple of years, you know, with with uh, Kershaw showing off their, their new models that are coming out, and there is absolutely no mention of this knife. So, if you can find one, which I will include the link to where I purchased mine down below, I would say, and you know, yeah, why not? I mean, it's, this really is just an attractive beefy offering from Kershaw and it's all during a time where it just feels like gentlemen's folders have taken over the market. I mean this is a smaller knife that doesn't look fragile.